the IMF is a debt trap or, or it's a force of stabilization. Uh, it depends upon the recipient country. If a country like Pakistan that has taken more than 23 loans and it is not able to reform, eventually the IMF uh, program will become, become a debt trap. But we may not have to blame the IMF, it is our fault. Uh, it is, these are our requirements, external financing requirements that we go after every three years, five years, two years to the IMF. So blaming IMF for our own problem is, will not be correct. For this financial year, we have the external financing requirements of $34 billion. That includes $22 billion or $23 billion debt repayments and then about $12 billion current account deficit. If you don't have huge debt requirements, repayment requirements, if you don't have a huge current account deficit, so you don't go to the IMF, you are not in a debt trap. The problem is, it is not only the question of the IMF. Uh, when we take uh, budget support loans or the balance of payment loans from the World Bank, ADB, the IMF, and we do not put those loans into productive sectors. For example, if you take loan and you a foreign loan, and then you use that money to disperse monthly cash grants uh, to the to the BISP beneficiaries, then from where you will uh, pay back the loan, uh, irrespective of how good or bad is the purpose. The purpose may be good, but the use of the money is bad here. That 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 is the problem. You cannot ask the BISP beneficiaries to give returns on, on, the, on the free grant. So it is the decision of the government of Pakistan, whosoever, whichever party is in the power, that where they use the money. But if you take that money, that foreign loan, and build a motorway, a power plant, then you will have a, a constant and permanent source of earning. And by using that earning, you, you will return the loan, so there will not be a debt trap. So blaming the IMF for the debt trap will be a wrong approach. Well, coming out of the debt trap is a long, long process. It will not begin today. It, it may not begin tomorrow. We are right now in, in a serious debt, uh, debt uh, trap. And how to come out, uh, it will depend upon the policies that the government of Pakistan adopts over a longer period. You need to increase your exports, and everyone says that. But uh, by increasing the exports does not mean giving hundreds or 150 billion rupees a year uh, subsidy to the textile exporters. That is a wrong approach to increase the exports. Uh, you, you may like to look around the world and see what India is doing. India is not only relying on the textile exports, India is relying on the IT exports, India is relying on the software exports, what we people are doing. Uh, we think that the increasing exports uh, uh, for coming out of the debt trap would mean giving more money uh, to the textile exporters in shape of the energy subsidies, uh, free loan, almost free loans at 1% of the, uh, of the interest rate, uh, then giving them almost um, tax-free status by charging only 1% of their uh, export proceeds as, as, as a total and final tax liabilities. Uh, but, uh, to increase exports, you have to diversify the exports basket. One of the criticism that uh, comes from the European Union on Pakistan, look, we have given you the GSP plus status and what you did with that, you mostly relied on the same traditional export baskets and then you say that uh, we are not doing enough, it is Pakistan that is not doing enough. The second thing uh, to come out of the debt trap is you need to increase the foreign direct investment, although uh, there are two opinions about the foreign direct investment. One is that immediately it will provide some relief, then eventually you'll have to, you will have to pay the dividends uh, to the foreign investors. And that's a problem again in Pakistan right now. So there are two opinions. The third source, which is the foreign remittance. You may take many measures to increase your uh, remit, foreign remittances. Still, uh, because of the huge gap between the formal exchange rates and the informal rate, uh, money that used to come through remittances, a major portion of it is going now towards uh, the Hawala system where uh, actually the dollar is not offered but the dollar equal amount is being paid to someone in Pakistan. The, act the money remains a problem. That is also a problem. Uh, but at the same time, you, you need to focus on uh, uh, more uh, productivity sector. At least Pakistan should be able to make its raw material. That is also met by imports. You have to uh, reduce imports because we are also financing our imports by taking more loans. So these are not sustainable way until we change kind of our policies that encourage imports, uh, we, we will be in a debt trap.